you may be wondering, what is this crazy cloud of sundews that I'm holding in my hand? And this is actually a big pile of uh, Drosera macrantha vines. I almost said Nepenthes there, sometimes that happens. So Drosera macrantha is a really, really cool plant. It has these long vines and these are all tangled up together, but it's actually part of a group of plants called the tuberous sundews, or also called the winter growing sundews, which gives you a clue as to when and where they grow. So these plants actually are largely from Australia or South Africa, and they only grow in winter. They're triggered to grow by the shorter, shorter photo periods of the sun, so less sun, and the colder temperatures. And until then, they just lie dormant in the soil, and there are these little tubers that are in the soil, and they can actually be quite difficult to spot in the soil as someone who has looked for them many times. Um, but they're really, really cool. And they, we put them in water in September, so that means we put the pot sitting in water, we put it in full sun, and then we just wait to watch the magic trick of all of these plants starting to grow. There's a huge range of winter growing tuberous sundews, and as such, they have kind of a big range of when they will grow in winter. So if you grow them at home, don't freak out if your plants haven't started to grow yet. The different species and hybrids can actually come up at different times during the winter. So for instance, this is one of the first, but Cystiflora is almost always one of the last to come up in December. So these plants will actually go dormant again as soon as it gets hot. So that really depends on our season. So if we have kind of a long, cool spring, they can grow for a longer time. But if we have heat waves that come up early in the year, they're gonna have a shorter growing season. They're really fun to grow. We love them. They're beautiful and weird and so cool. And I'll be featuring more different species of the tuberous drosera as they come up and start to fill up their pots because they're just rare and cool and fun. And another cool fun fact before I go is as you can see here, this plant is made to climb. And you know that because it has long climbing tentacles and that it has short tentacles to actually catch prey. So that's really fun about it. So not only can it climb a wall if it's next to it, it can also catch a million little bugs like fruit flies and gnats, which we do find in it. Um, and even actually when it falls to the floor of the nursery, these little suction cups can grab rocks and hold onto them when you pick them up, they're so strong. So anyway, Drosser Macrantha, little pile of sundew to share with you. Happy growing.